Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful weekly Twin Flame reading. I do hope that you're all well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. So during this week, it's going to be the end of November and we're coming into a brand new month, December. Um, and we also have that full moon in Gemini right at the beginning of the week on November the 27th. So it's going to be interesting. So I'm excited to see what's going to come through. And this is just helping you understand what how these energies are actually going to be supporting you next week. What the energies are going to be for Twin Flames. So I'm going to start with the spell casting Oracle deck. And I'll show you the other decks as I'm using them. I'm going to bring in quite a few today. I will get messages from your Twin Flame to see what wants to be expressed throughout this week. And I'll get messages from God, the universe, the angels to see what you need to know about your journey. So this week, I feel it's going to be, you're going to feel so much more lighter and more refreshed. Because last week was quite an intense one with this deep purification releasing to come through. So... So this is going to be for the week of November the 27th to the 3rd of December 2023. So what are the energy is going to be for this week of November 27th to the 3rd of December 2023. Thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you give me. I'm so very grateful to each one of you. And if you would like to support on your awakening journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. The cards are only a bit jumpy. Inspiration. You're going to feel this inspiration this week. Hmm. Um, and that's because you feel so differently. You're feeling more content, peaceful within yourself. You're connecting and remaining in this place of truth. You found that light within you, as you can see. So you're going to get new ideas, new opportunities being thrown at you this week and you're going to feel so inspired to take action and you're actually feeling as if you are an inspiration or inspiration, sorry, and this one flipped out as well, love, in your heart space. Feeling this love for yourself, for others, you're just feeling at one with everything and through that you're going to be taking action and we're in Sagittarius season now as well, which is all about action and far energy. So you can see with the love um, card that, you know, she's so peaceful, a beautiful lady, beautiful woman, beautiful angel. She's just so calm, so in tune, so quiet. Allowing this inspiration and enlightenment where everything just feels, yeah, I'm, I'm so clear on everything, everything. I know what it is that I've got to do. What else is coming through for this week? I didn't expect all those to come through. I'm going to pick one more. There you go. Can't make it up, guys. But such a more, such um, a peaceful week for you. Full of love, inspiration. Everything's just flowing so beautifully for you. And prosperity. Huh? So much of prosperity is coming because you're feeling peaceful. And this inspired action, you know, this inspiration is going to bring in so much prosperity for you as well. So much love. <laughs> so that's absolutely wonderful. So let's see what else comes through with... The Moonology Manifestations Oracle deck. So the full moon in Gemini reading is now up, if that's of interest to you. Um, so that is tomorrow as well, this full moon in Gemini. What else is coming through for this week of November 27th to the 3rd of December 2023? Inspiration. Mm. You are an inspiration and you're seeing this now. Um, so those two flipped and we've got many more that's come out and I'm going to take them shine. You're shining your light and it's new moon in Leo. 
and that's fire energy also so you could be aries as well as i've mentioned sagittarius fire energy first quarter moon in libra keep your heart open yeah keep your heart open Keep shining that light. Share your inspiration. Share your creativity. Express who you truly are from this place of love that you found within you, that in this place of peace. Keep your heart open no matter what is going on. That's what you're learning. And breathe through the tension. Yeah, breathing through the tension, going within connecting with that sacred space that's within you and it's scorpio coming through full moon in scorpio and that new moon scorpio that we last had was a huge um energy shift it's brought so much change in and at the time it could have made you feel really unwell or you just felt as if you couldn't manage these deep emotions that actually that, that crop you know that are, um surfaced within you but now you're feeling so much more refreshed because you actually faced those deep emotions allowed yourself to feel <laughs> you feel as if you're free from those um lower energies and um you're just feeling lighter and there may be some tension there may be some things that are going to be happening this week that could make you you know feel a bit tensed up but you're going to get through this because you have the tools you have that love as i said that you know it is to connect with that peace that's within you to to be able to get through anything and this is you're going to put this into practice this week and keeping your heart open responding with love different circumstances different things that are thrown at you this week attuned to the divine yeah you're in you're so in tune with self and that means you're in tune with divine with god and open up to change yeah you're opening up to this change and new moon in aquarius so much is changing and you're being given the opportunity this week to love to share your gifts your inspiration to shine your light and you're going to find it so much easier um, in this energy to breathe through any tension, to breathe through anything. And last quarter moon in Sagittarius, practice gratitude. You're so grateful, so grateful because you're seeing things so differently. Hmm. Um, and we've got Archangel Raphael and we have Michael coming through again through this reading. Um, so you are being protected and you are being supported. You're going to be given the strength to keep your heart open, no matter what is going on. And yeah, you're, you're breathing. You're actually focusing on your breath. And I didn't, I didn't mention new moon in Pisces as well. So water energy and we have some air energy coming through. And Gemini is air energy. Um, and that's about being in our heads, overthinking, and it's about communication as well um, with that Gemini moon. So be very aware of that, you know, air energy, being in your head, overthinking during this week, because that is what will cause you tension. <laughs> um, so but it seems that this week is going to be so much more lighter for you. And you are going to shine and feel so much more peaceful. Keep your heart wide open and that is showing that you're open to this change. <laughs> There's so much change that's happened within you and your life is changing in a big way because you're learning to live your life from this place of truth, of love and peace, unconditional love. <laughs> And you could be just bombarded with this, all these different ideas, inspiration, as I said, that you, you know, you're just feeling fired up, that you want to get things done and take things further with creative projects, things that you've always wanted to do, but you've been maybe frightened of taking further because of how you felt about yourself, about life. You've worked through blocks that it just seems to be coming so much easier for you and 
clearer of how this um, is all going to unfold with your creative project or you know your dreams and desires of what it is you actually want to do so next i'm going to use the soul connections when two hearts meet and again i didn't expect all of those to come out so the board's a bit chocker today for this weekly meeting so what else is coming through for this week or the 27th to the 3rd of december 2023 that one flipped attraction <laughs> Feeling this tra attraction because you're feeling attractive <laughs> and you're attracting peace, you're attracting love to yourself now because you're in tune with divine, because you're open. <laughs> so <laughs> this attraction, you're understanding on a deeper level as well. <laughs> um, you, you've let go of all this superficial stuff. And you're, you're, you're feeling this attraction and everything that you have going on with your twin flame is so different to any other attraction that you've ever experienced in your life because it is pure. So the doubt and the fear of, you know, that you've got to be a certain way and you've got to do a certain thing um, to be able to attract um, another being into your life. And you could have had those beliefs, which has been a bit of a block with you and your twin flame. That you're 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 changing that. Huh? You're understanding this attraction is different, and you're it's, it's because it's pure, and you're feeling um this you know you're feeling good about yourself, and you're attracting amazing things into your life. And you and your twin are feeling this attraction towards each other as well because <laughs> each one of you are feeling content in your own bodies <laughs> um, at the moment. So that's wonderful. And yin and yang, yeah, balance. Like the yin and yang symbol, twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. Defo um, balancing that divine feminine, divine masculine energy within. Hmm within yourself you and your twin and trust you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish yes that is so important you've got to be able to trust yourself before you can actually be in a relationship and trust anybody else and you're going to feel this ultimate trust um you know in this relationship in you know with your twin flame because of the way you have been shifting those old beliefs and this attraction could be incredibly strong this week because there's no barriers because there's no protection anymore you're just allowing yourself and um, letting go of thinking that you've got to be and, and and look a certain way as well and that's something big time that I've had to work through this superficial stuff is to come from soul and not and think that I've got to look a certain way or be a certain way to, to be able to actually be loved. Um, so that could resonate with you. But you're, it's like you're you're setting yourself free from that. Hmm. And you're just feeling this balance. Everything's just flowing so much more easy for you and peacefully for you. So let's see what it is that your twin would love to actually express to you through this reading. So I'm going to use, mess use messages from your other self, my deck. So what is it your twin flame would love to share and express through this reading today for this week? Also, what's really wanting to be shared? Our future together will be so bright, yeah, because we know how to remain peaceful we've got love for ourselves now because we've balanced that was divine feminine and divine masculine energy within us because we've worked through this superficial stuff we haven't got the old beliefs program conditioning hindering this beautiful connection this relationship because we're we're we have so much confidence within ourselves. We're feeling love for ourselves. We're going to be free. And we'll be focusing on just the love, the peace. I have so much love that I want to express to you. So much love I've got to express to you now. Because 
I found it for myself, is what your twin's saying. I can't wait to create special moments with you, even when we're doing boring jobs. Can't wait to do those chores and boring jobs because nothing is boring with you. Hmm. Every moment is so special. And you are my motivation. Feeling so motivated and inspired this week. And you, beautiful soul, do motivate your twin flame. Hmm. Um, because they just feel how much that you believe in them. They know how much you believe in them. They feel alive. They feel so full of life to get everything done. That's how you felt when you'd come into each other's life, where every moment you just didn't matter what was going on. You just loved every moment. You took in every moment with your twin flame and nothing is boring. Um, it's just so precious. So let's get messages from God, University angels of what you need to know. So I'm going to use soul connection when two hearts meet. I'm going to bring this deck back in. So what is the message that you need to know about your journey this week? But it's a beautiful energy that's coming through. What is it you need to know about your journey? What is the message from God, University angels? Nice, clear message. Universe. <laughs> the universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. Yeah, you are moving closer and closer because you're feeling at one with the universe. <laughs> because you're with yourself, beautiful soul that's watching. And know that that's exactly what's going on for your twin flame. That's what you need to know. And everything that you're experiencing, everything that's um, happening to you and happening, you know, that's going on in your journey, the universe, is it's all put in, being put in place for you to come back to your beautiful, special person, which is your twin flame, your other self. Hmm. You're allowing the universe now. It is all falling into place. Everything is coming together and you're getting so close. You're getting this guidance because you're allowing this guidance. And soul, hmm, your soul is preparing to re reconnect. Trust in the process. Come on. That's what God, the universe, the angels want you to know. Trust this process. The universe is taking care of you, your twin, your journey and how you're coming back together and it's all happening right now um, and that's beautiful that's a wonderful way to end the reading <laughs> for god the university angels want you to know <laughs> i hope you have an amazing week a peaceful week being in tune with divine with yourself so if you would like extra support on your awakening journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. Thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you give me. I'm so very grateful. And remember to stay focused, to believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.